In this series, I'll go over everything you need to know in order to survive in Genshin Impact. Today, let's get into the very basics. The who, the what, and the how. So who made Genshin Impact? That would be MiHoYo, which is based in Shanghai, China. It was founded in 2012 by three students from Shanghai Jiao Chong University. Now they currently employ over 4,000 people. Its subsidiary, HoYoVerse, is based in Singapore and manages all of MiHoYo's global operations outside of China. So I know that in certain parts of the US and maybe other parts of the world too, there's a lot of misinformation about things that are made in China. Believe me, this game is nothing like your cheap Chinese blender that keeps breaking. Ah, oh, man, I have to get a new blender. This game deserves admiration, so let's get into it. So what is Genshin Impact? Well basically, it's a free-to-play online action RPG that features an anime open-style environment, an action-based combat system that combines magical abilities and weapons with character switching to create these awesome elemental reactions. The story follows the traveler and their trusty emergency food, I mean, companion, Paimon, Looking at me like that? What an exotic creature! Is it edible? No! For the last time, Paimon is not emergency food! The Traveler has traveled across countless worlds with their twin sibling before becoming separated in Tavat. Now it's up to you and Paimon to reunite with your lost twin. Genshin Impact is rated teen, and it does have some alcohol references. Also, many of the characters, um, let's just say, wear clothes that would definitely help them stay cool in the summer. What the? What kind of injurious weather is this? It's... cold. <laughs> Genshin Impact is cross-platform, so you can play it on nearly any device. It works on iOS, Android, PS4, and 5, and Windows. They've talked about releasing it on Nintendo Switch as well, but there's no info on when or if that'll actually happen at this point. It supports single-player and multiplayer in a co-op mode, where up to four travelers can adventure together in the giant world of Tavat. There are all sorts of things to do in Genshin Impact. Like in most other RPGs, there's plenty of exploring, resource gathering, crafting, building, and leveling your characters, weapons, and even equipment. You can even glide, and sail a talking boat. After all, a talking ship is just a ship. It still needs someone at the wheel. But there are some things that are more unique to Genshin Impact, mainly the elemental reactions. This isn't the first game to have elemental reactions. 
but I feel Genshin Impact has taken it to a new level. It feels very intuitive and natural. This is probably because creating elemental reactions is a fundamental part of the game. So if the combat isn't piquing your interest, then perhaps the story missions or hangouts will. In Genshin Impact, there's a large variety of quests. From the Archon quests that follow the main storyline, to world quests that are found throughout your travels. But the characters are the real star of the show here. Story missions and hangout events are a fun way to meet various characters Genshin Impact has to offer. In the hangouts, you must pass speech checks to complete the story. Wait, didn't I tell you? You must mess up every step. You also have multiple endings, which create a really fun way to get to know different characters. The story missions work a bit more like the normal quests, but they focus on a specific character, which gives you more insight into their true personality. Finally! I almost fell asleep waiting. <laughs> As usual, my predictions are correct. You, yes you, come with me. Huh? I am Astrologist Mona Magistus, but considering that it is most rude to misremember names, I allow others to call me Mona. Often, there's also an awesome cutscene or two. The true sky and songs that Cageless soar, were they not wishes worth fighting for? So the boy turned, extending his hand. Let us cast down the tyrant and his walls from this land. This game is truly a work of art. I mean, what other game has an actual concert for their music? Genshin Impact even has in-game instruments, so if music is your thing, you can have a lot of fun playing with the various instruments the game has to offer. So how does Genshin Impact work? Like I've said earlier, the characters are the star of the show. Arataki numero uno ito here in the flesh. Each character has some unique abilities, personality, and story. For I, Fischl, and the Princess and de for Earth. <laughs> Where one can unleash a whirling blizzard. So Another can send enemies flying with his giant fiery phoenix. In order to obtain characters, you just have to wish. Yes, Pinocchio. 
I've given you life. Why? Because tonight, Geppetto wished for a real boy. No, not that kind of wish. Wishes are the main form of monetization in Genshin Impact. However, you still can make wishes for free. You do this by earning Primo Gems, which you get by doing quests and commissions. Flags up! And step! Take flight! There are many other ways to get Primo Gems for free as well, but I'll cover that in more detail later in the series. So why don't you go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss that? You know you want to. But that brings us to the in-game store. Here you can buy Genesis Crystals which can be used to purchase Primo Gems, different outfits, and materials that you can use to rank up your characters or weapons. Many refer to this as their gacha monetization system but I feel like the developers have found a nice balance. So you can play this game for free and still definitely enjoy it. There's a section in the store called Paimon's Bargains where you can exchange star glitter and stardust for a variety of useful resources, or even a character or two. You obtain star glitter and stardust when you receive a duplicate character or item from a wish. Receiving a duplicate character from a wish also allows you to unlock more of that character's abilities. Benny's adventure team, assemble! Oh. Mm, or not. You can also purchase Blessing of the Welkin Moon, which gives you 2700 Primo Gems over 30 days. That's 90 Primo Gems per day for $5 per month. In order to rank up your characters, you need to collect various books, which when used will give your characters some experience. The books are obtained in many ways, but the main way to collect them is by doing Leyline Outcrops. Leyline Outcrops are mini challenges where you must defeat various enemies. In order to receive your reward for finishing the challenge, you must use some of your original resin. One original resin is obtained automatically every 8 minutes, whether you're logged in or not. You can have a maximum of 160 original resin at one time. As I mentioned earlier, you can also level up your weapons and equipment which are called artifacts. Weapons and artifacts are leveled up in a similar fashion, but instead of ley lines, you must complete domains. Domains work much the same way as ley lines in that you must defeat various enemies and exchange some of your original resin for the reward. However, with domains, you are also often under a time limit and those enemies can be much stronger. <laughs> <laughs> no rest for the wicked. Take flight. Embrace the ice. I never asked for redemption. Never. Every time you enter a domain, you are given the option to pick which difficulty you would like. However, you do receive better rewards with higher difficulties. I personally love Genshin Impact. It quickly became one of my favorite games. There's just so much that this game has to offer. <laughs> Ugh. 
Another nightmare, huh? One has told you before. Be not complacent. The ropes are to be worn even while you sleep. Yes, master. Rest, child. No need to train today. You are a cursed child, and shall never have contact with anyone else. So now that you know more of the very basics, how do you actually get started in Genshin Impact? Well, you'll just have to watch my next video for that. We haven't finished the story yet! It's like one of those sneaky light novel marketing schemes! If you want to know what happens next, please buy the next volume! Ugh. I have to see the ending! <laughs> Subscribe.